Hey guys, this is Snack Attack 8, and ooh, why, why does my voice feel like it's getting a little better already? It's, <laughs> it's definitely the same day. Um, this is gonna be like the week of weird voiced snack, but I don't know, why does it feel like it's better? Did all I have to do was talk? Was talking the answer? Talking is always the answer, guys. Talk it out. If you got a problem going on, <laughs> what? What is happening? It's Mario Galaxy. Did I even say that? This is part 20. Um, <laughs> I think we, uh, last time I said we might do more bedroom stuff, but I realized there's a prankster comet out here in the kitchen that we haven't done yet. And it's for a galaxy that I love, so I am gonna do that in today's episode. It is a fast faux comet, and it's in the beach ball. So we haven't seen a fast faux prankster comet yet. The color is yellow. I feel like this is actually one of the less common ones because there's not too many places where it's really that applicable. Uh, but it's fast foes on the cyclone stone. And you will see just how fast those foes are in a second. Uh, so all the uh, thwomps and the whatever these thwomp box things are called. I'm sure those have a name, um, but I don't know it. Uh, <laughs> everything is moving at a faster speed, and this was already a, a pretty, kind of a pretty harrowing, uh, oh, see, uh, whoa, see, I almost died already. This was already a pretty harrowing, uh, little mission, so it's definitely gotten quite a, quite a noticeable bit more difficult. Um, I'm gonna cheap some of it out, though, skip that portion with that really fast guy that was right there. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm gonna die. Damn it! Well, I think we were going the right way with that, at least. Uh, yes, I want to try again. <laughs> I just started the episode game. You should know that. As a video game, especially one that came out in 2006, you should be well aware that I make Let's Plays. What? Wasn't I in? Like, wasn't I inside the safe zone there? Did I get mashed by the edge or something? What happened there? That was weird. I definitely think this is the right way to go at first. I think I am gonna, like, go around here. Go underneath beneath this swamp and try to, uh, make this jump. Because you totally can make it to the edge of this little rock thing. Crap. Okay, maybe that's not the way. I don't know. Maybe... <laughs> maybe I was wrong. I was but a fool. <laughs> Let's try it the legit way this time. They're like, it, it's, it's a no-brainer, though, to take this little freebie one up. Alright, so you are gonna come down right where the star bit's at. There we go. I don't know why I died last time. I'm sure in editing I'll go back and be able to see that. Oh, come on, no! Ah! This is it's one of those days. Done a couple episodes, Snack, you start to get a little punchy. Alright, this, <laughs> this, <laughs> tomorrow for sure. And it will not be a, a sassy French narrator situation here. Because I am going to get it this time. Alright. Take it slow and... Oh, are you kidding me? What's happening? Am I not, like, looking what I'm doing? Am I not... Do I not have my eyes on the screen? Did my eyes, like, somehow weirdly shift to the right a little bit? And I just, like... I'm not even actually seeing the correct way. Wouldn't that be scary? Wouldn't it be scary if one day you woke up and you just like saw a little differently and like you, d you were like doing things off and you had no idea why and it's because your like vision was all messed up? <laughs> I guess that would be scary. I don't, <laughs> I don't know where that was going. I'm gonna follow this guy. As long as I, if I'm behind him, he can't smash me. Those are rules that you should always abide by in life. As long as you're behind, you can't get smashed. Except for, you know, all those times you can get smashed from behind. <laughs> I feel like uh, our conversation has taken on an oddly mature tone. So let's remember that this is a children's video game. I'm gonna make- Oh! No! 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 I, I was almost back on! Damn it, I was gonna do a long jump. Alright, let's do this the right way this time. 
Can we please? That would make me happy. <laughs> I, yeah, I decided to cut out a little bit there, because I kind of want to... I, I don't know, I wanted to make a little bit more progress in this video, and I didn't want to die again getting up to this point, which is something that happened. Uh, yeah. But so, here we are, I think we're, we're pretty much closing in on the end. Yeah. Fast foe! That was kind of tough. <clears throat> it was in Beach Bowl, which I love, but uh, that was not my favorite challenge to do. Maybe I should have done my Beach Bowl real talk again, but tried to get it all entirely, like, spewed out in that, in like, a, a double time manner. That would have been just the worst idea ever. <laughs> Alright, fast, fast foes on the Cyclone is completed. Is there anything else in the kitchen we need to do? Done. There's a... Oh, shit. Did I not do... Did I not save after the Bouldergeist? That really would be bad. How did that happen? Um, okay. Uh, we'll just... <laughs> we'll just let that be for now. There may be some, uh, slight discrepancies in how my save file looks, I guess. Uh, but no worries. It's... It's fine. I can always just go back and do that. It really is fine. <laughs> um, okay. So we're like a star down then of what we actually should be. We actually should be at 55. Uh, but again, like, whatever. It's, it's okay. There were some that I actually... So, <laughs> before I started my session today, I realized that there were some galaxies that I had done that I hadn't saved. Because usually I don't like to save in videos in case something happens to the file. And, uh... Like, or I get like interrupted or like the, the session gets ended in some way um, and so I don't have to come back and like redo it over again but I guess like at the end of my session last time I forgot to save or something so there were a couple stars I still had to get or like I had to re-get before starting recording today but I thought the boulder guys one was safe was good but I guess I gotta do that again oh well it'll all be off screen like whatever right now we're gonna focus forward and do the mission proper for blasting through the sand. I could skip, or I, I like skipped my little uh, thing there, but I probably shouldn't have just because of how cool those always are. Uh, let's let's do this a little different this time. It's the Redux. We're jumping instead of uh, spinning. Well, we spun a couple, but you know what I mean. I am gonna spin this guy though, because I don't want to get close to death again like I stupidly did last time. There we go. Wasn't hard. I don't know why you, uh, thought it was, Snack. <laughs> Alright. And instead of feeding the Hungry Luma, we are going to move forward with our momentum. And, uh, is there a rainbow star or something that I can, like, capitalize on here? Maybe there's one in the center here underneath this oh my god there is all right rocks prepare to get chunked up yeah it's awesome and I think we're gonna have enough time left on this rainbow star to see like what it looks like to go through the sky with it and like that's really cool like look at that whoa <laughs> that's awesome man I think there were some planetoids down there that I could have gone to uh, that's kind of a bummer. I guess we're stuck up here as it is now. So these are the sand streams that were mentioned in the title. Um, these are really cool. I really... Like, this is like such a Mario Galaxy thing, but it's also like... Pretty unique, even in that. You got these like, moving like, gravity compacted sand stream run things. And uh, there are pull star chips along the way here. I think we want to grab this shell. I believe the last chip is in a chest. Uh, which is, I'm sure is on the side that I didn't go. Let's look ahead for it. There it is. There's the chest. So we'll just hop up here. Get it. And where where is that star going to be? Oh, it's like right in front of us. Wow. Alright, that was handy. Let's, uh, I guess come down here. Oh, this is cool too. 
Uh, we got two directions we can go. I think I'm gonna go... Well, maybe I'm not. I think I am gonna go up this way. Is there another secret star in this galaxy? Why do I think... Why do I want to say there is for some reason? It seems like there's a lot of multiple ways I could have gone that would have... Uh, would have changed something. This is a cool little bit too. Like this... Like, again, I, I really want to praise this Dusty Dunes galaxy for being more than just, like, a big, sprawling desert level. Because it does do a lot of cool stuff with uh, the gravity mechanics. And just, like, has a lot of interesting mechanics in it in general. Like those uh, little twister guys. These look like a Banjo-Kazooie enemy. We've, done, we've seen this spinning thing before, but it was never from, like, an actual enemy. I think those are called twisties. Um, they're really cute, though. <laughs> Speaking of Banjo-Kazooie, who's excited for ukulele? Anybody? Like, put that in the comments if you are. I wasn't initially, because I was like, well, it's just like a Banjo, like, rip-off. Just like a rehash of that. But, like, since it got, like, a, like, what, two million pounds or something in funding? Like, that's pretty cool. <laughs> that we're gonna get a really polished, um new like spiritual successor to banjo i love those games i would love to do an lp of one of them or a stream well i did a stream of banjo too but i'd love to do like a, a real project of the first one sometime we died and it spit us out in a completely different area uh, but i think this is actually the area that we want to be in um you can hear a star glimmering but there's no star to be found here just a button which i suppose we'll push because there's no other way to go. Let's go back the way we came. And you'll see that uh, pushing the button on that side has flipped this little castle around. And uh, now we can climb it over here. Which is a cool little, another cool little way to work the gravity thing. Because now we're on the bottom side of this planet. And I like how the little brick pathways have different coloring on them too. Like one of them's sort of a darkish color and one of them's more sun-baked. It's fun. There had to have been more to that galaxy. I'm sure there is. There's a secret star or something here. I can feel it in my... in my jimmies. In my bones. I can feel it. <laughs> Just to be curious, I think it'll tell us if we go back in. Might have like a little question mark thing. Um... Let's see. Is there? It doesn't... doesn't look like there is. I don't know. <laughs> We'll, uh, we'll figure that out. <laughs> what? Like, my, my intuition's telling me that I'm not done with, with slipping sands. But there was already a hungry Luma and, like, a green star in there, so maybe, maybe I'm just being crazy. Maybe it just was one of those, like, multiple ways to go galaxies. In which case, sorry, I only showed you one way. Play this game and find the other way yourself. Alright, so for our last star we're gonna be doing today... I'm gonna go to the Honey Hive Galaxy and bail out my bro because this is where he's at. Luigi is in a tree here and uh, we're gonna go back into B Mario Takes Flight. Go back to our friends the bees, which I can still do even though my voice is in a, in a raspy condition. <laughs> You're never too, uh, your voice is never too tired to do uh, a bee. B voice. Right, how do I get over to where Luigi is again? Isn't there like a like a vine or something that takes me over there? There's the bee flower. I might be able to use that to get over actually. Where is what I'm thinking of? Is it this piranha plant? Do I want to stomp you? Ow. Oh, are you serious? In the Honey Hive Galaxy, I died! <laughs> this is a death-filled video today. <laughs> Alright. Let's, uh... Let's... Let's redeem ourselves a little bit here. Man, that rock could have hit me and that would have been it, too. I think we want the bee mushroom. So I'm gonna activate it. And then I guess it's this guy down here that I have to stomp. That guy right next to it. I'm sure there's a vine that goes over there. I know there is. Bring it on, buddy. Boom. No, there's not? Huh. How do I get over there, then? 
I think I can fly as a bee. Let me try it. Let's, uh... Get up here. I like that the, there's no time limit on the bee suit. We've been doing too many, uh... Getting too many powers that have time limits recently. Oh, I can. I can totally make that. I'm gonna die, though. Damn it! <laughs> Sorry, V Mario. Unless there really is another way. I don't think there is, though. I can't get up this, can I? No. I might be able to if I was, like, a speedrunner, but I'm not. Uh... Huh. This is kind of weird. It's weird to be having trouble in Honey Hive. I'm sure- this is the one Luigi's in, too. I'm, I'm sure of it. I have his letter and everything, right? I did get the letter, didn't I? Isn't it here? Yeah. Yeah, he's right there. I- And I'm pr- I- I'm fairly certain that is this other side over here. I think he's actually right up in that tree. Yeah, you can see him! He could have helped me! He could have, like... He could have, like, reached his hand out, and it would have been, like, a very touching brother-to-brother -brother moment. Except one of his brothers is dressed like a bee, and he probably would have fallen out of the tree, to be honest. To do that. <laughs> so maybe it's good that Luigi didn't. Um, Alright, we're gonna do this this time. Get up there! Yes! Alright. I don't know if this was the way I was supposed to get up here, um, but you don't need to make that- Oh, you know what I bet I was supposed to do? I was supposed to bring the bee suit down here and just fly up this slope. I did it the hard way. <laughs> but oh well. Means to an end, right? Let's, uh, knock our brother out of the tree. Can't we? There we go. <laughs> Alright, and I'm- it's okay, I am Mario. Oh, hey, bro. <laughs> Weird that you're dressed like a bee, hid because of that big scary bug. But he found a power star. Yeah. Is there a big scary bug in this? Was he talking about the Honey Queen? Dude, I know she's got a raspy voice. I know she's like a chain smoker, but I mean, they're people too, damn it. Why you gotta be so judgmental, Ouija? There's our third and last star, I believe, for today. I think that's gonna be it for our video here. But, uh... We did a... new type of prankster comet. And we did another Dusty Dunes level. And we freed Luigi again. I think- I don't know how many more times he gets himself stuck, but I think that's actually one of the last ones. Uh, which is kinda cool. So... Uh, we are kind of running out of stars almost to get uh, where we are right now, so I think we're really gonna start buckling down, getting into crunch time on wrapping up the rest of the stars that are available to us at this point. Uh, that will happen in the next episode. Till then, guys, I've been Snack Attack 8. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Later!